Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. The title of today's video is By the Way, I Run Arch. So this is for all the Arch Linux fanboys. Uh, yes, I'm looking at you, Garth, who swear they've had Arch Linux on their PC for 50 years and never had a single issue. Who oh, shit! Uh, just saying. So, there are many different ways of installing Arch Linux onto your computer in 2024. You can either do it the old fashioned way with the Arch installer and closely following reading and digesting the Arch wiki, or you can use an installer slash distro. So this is my first question to you, the internet, what constitutes a distro. <laughs> is it the fact that the distro has got its own repositories? Um, other than that, you could pretty much call it an Arch installer. So today I'm running Endeavor Linux. <clears throat> um, this is installed on the eWaste PC, the Core 2 Duo, with 4 gigs of RAM. So please don't expect wonders as we are already running and making a 60 frames per second video. So when you first, I mean, I've installed it and customized it and all the rest of it because I thought I'd get it done. Um, but I've not gone through the welcome screen. So the first thing with Endeavor Linux is you are going to have to learn the Arch Linux package commands and you're going to have to understand and grasp and take on board the difference between the official Arch repositories in the AUR, which is the Arch user repositories. And it's different commands. There's no GUI software installer with Endeavor OS. There's no PAMAC, there's nothing. So it's just you in the terminal. So this is one of the main reasons I don't recommend it to people new over to Linux from Windows because there's quite a lot to learn and there's a lot of terminal work which is mandatory. It's required, it's not optional. So we've done the install. What's the first thing we can do? Update the arch mirrors with reflector. Okay, so we're in the United Kingdom, include mirrors. Uh, okay. And there it goes. Now, the welcome screen um, will walk you through a lot of the things that you need to do. And if you're happy with that, you can save it. We'll save it. Uh, it wants our system password. Okay. And then we can update the mirrors for Endeavor OS. So this is the Endeavor OS stuff. And straight away it pops the terminal. And it's failing to connect to some of the uh, mirrors. That's interesting. Now I have changed my network settings. So mm, I'm assuming they're okay. That's because I like to use different DNS servers, etc. I'm just going to check that I have got an internet connection. It is a Core 2 Duo with 4 gigs of RAM, and I am making a video. So, you know, like me, who's old, be a little patient, just saying. Let's see if YouTube loads up. Yes, it does load up. That's fine. Okay, so we do have internet connection. It's all just running a little slow. Put in our root password. Press Enter to close the window. Write in new ranked Endeavor. Okay, so the next thing we can do is update the system. EOS update AUR. Oh, God. Whenever I see them three letters, I shut myself. Oh, thank God. So there's no updates available from the AUR. Update system. Yay. Uh, well, is yay not the AUR as well? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Why would you put both in? Uh, a bit weird. Package cleanup configuration. We can run that. 
uh, we can tell it to clean the packages weekly number of latest package versions to keep well we've got three remove uninstalled but still cached packages now I shouldn't think there's going to be much to do uh, as it's a virgin install I've finished eight packages removed uh, it freed 20 meg up it's all megage isn't it change the display manager which we don't want to do endeavor os default wallpaper choose one of the endeavor wallpapers download more wallpapers logs for troubleshooting and select initial welcome tab okay so then we have on the next tab along the assistant so we can update the arch mirrors and blah 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 that will give you assistance on these options pretty much and then we've got tips package management the aur and yay firewall information hardware network bluetooth nvidia users well i'm not running nvidia i'm running amd personal commands drag and drop add more apps choose popular apps to install oh so let's go to browsers uh, chromium yes please we'll have a bit of chromium uh, and install now I just want to see what all oh, video players uh, well hmm they are actual players aren't they I can't see anything here uh, G parted Oh, image viewers and managers, image processing and editing. Uh, GIMP, we've already installed the GIMP. So that's quite nice, but why it would be tucked away uh, and hidden on that, I don't know, anyway. Anyway, I have to say, I don't think... Uh, um, I don't think this is the most helpful Arch Linux distro I've ever come across. Personally, if I was going to go for Arch Linux and I wasn't going to build it myself from scratch, I would probably go for Arch Linux. I think Arch Linux with all of Eric Dubois' um, hard work and endeavour is probably the way to go. Um, Error failed retrieving, really. I don't like the look of that neither. Okay, so press end. So did it install or not? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Um, application categories. We can click on that. And it just takes you to the Arch Wiki. <clears throat> so... You know, I mean, this welcome screen is okay. Oh, did it actually install Chromium? Yeah, it did. Let's just load Chromium up. And it did indeed install Chromium. Google Chromium, lovely. As opposed to Google Chrome. Google Chromium, why am I calling it Google Chromium? It's free and open source Chromium. Um, so, overall, personally... I don't see any advantage to running Endeavor or Garuda or Arco or Manjaro over running something like Linux Mint. I can't see the benefit other than your system is more likely to break because you have access to the AUR and you don't really understand it or know what you're doing. Um, the other thing with Arch Linux, for me as a user, it's always been one of the faster running distros. But I really do feel that both Debian and Ubuntu-based distros have really caught up with Arch. And I honestly, personally, I don't see a massive difference in speed and stability between Arch and Linux Mint. So... <clears throat> The upshot is, I'm asking you, YouTube, especially the big wide-eyed Arch fanboys, post underneath this video and educate an old bedger like me as to why Arch 
should be run or is better to be run than Linux Mint. Because for me, Linux Mint is just fantastic. MX Linux is sublime. So why on earth would a user go for an Arch-based system rather than something like MX Linux or Linux Mint? Please post underneath the video. I'll be really interested to browse and mooch through the comments at my pleasure and leisure. You lot look after yourself. Have a fantastic week. Much, much love indeed. Me, I'm going to play a bit of uh, Farm Simulator on my new beautiful Endeavor OS. Um, and I'll let you know how we get on. I mean, would you like me to run this for a, a couple of weeks or a month as a daily driver? Do you not give a shit? <laughs> Are you really not interested? I mean, the installation itself was straightforward. It's It's a piece of pie in the sky the problems come when it comes to installing software because you've got to do it via the terminal yes i've just found that kind of help screen but you know i didn't see any obs on there i didn't see any simple screen recorder blah 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 yeah i know they might well be on there but nevertheless i find the whole arch thing an unnecessary burden on the user and if you're not careful you'll spend more time sysadmining the system and sorting problems out than what you will actually run in and just use in the system. But like I say, I could be wrong by a country mile. Please post underneath. I look forward to Garth's response. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.